tough first punch there. Just what did you think of the way you guys were able to, to respond after that, that punch that they threw? Yeah, um, we were good. Um, I think, obviously, they're a good team. Um, have won a lot of basketball games the past couple of years. Um, they know the way they want to play. Um, and they're going to try to impose that. I think we, we did a good job of, of imposing our way a little bit more. Um, even though they got to a hot start um, and, made, and made runs throughout the game, we, we tried to play our way. Um, we tried to do so no matter what. Yeah, and speaking of just imposing your will, it seemed like there were just like a lot of hard-nosed plays, whether it was blocks or you finishing through contact at the rim and, and guys diving on the floor for loose ball. Just how important were, were those plays tonight? Yeah, um, those plays are super important every night. Um, and, and we know that we're a team that has to get those plays. Um, it's something that we try to hang our hat on every night. Um, we're going to be first to lose balls, first to, to offense and rebounds, and things like that. Um, and, and that's something that I think we, we, we did a good job of tonight. Um, we got to carry over every game for the rest of the season. Um, and last thing for me, wanted to ask you about Kenrich stepping into the starting lineup as, as your five man essentially, but he's just all over the floor, just a well rounded game, seems mm -hmm. to just do all the little things. Just what does he bring to this, this group when he's out there? Yeah, you know, um, I, I, I like describe Kenrich as like a hooper. Um, he just knows how to play basketball. You can plug him in anywhere with any lineup. Um, he's going to make the guys around him better. Um, I think we saw that early in the game. Um, he was really good, aggressive offensively. Um, and then he brought the grit and defense and rebounding um, for the rest of the night. Uh, but uh, when he's at our, his best, we are for sure at our best. I just had a question about the next game. The next time you guys play is in front of a national audience. How excited are you and the guys for that game coming up? Um, to be honest, we haven't like spoke much about it. Um, I think for us, we just try to carry the good thing over, good things over every night, um, and leave the bad things in the past. Um, I think that's what we're focused on. Um, now it'll be on TV and it'll be fun for sure, um, but we're not focused on that. Shay, you currently lead the league in and ones. Um, you had a couple crazy finishes tonight through contact. I just want to ask you, what's the preparation for shots like that, where you're falling backwards, you're getting hit in the face, you're getting your arms grabbed? Like, how do you even prepare for stuff like that over the summer or in the off season? Um, um, I do a lot of core when I like when I lift and stuff like that. Um, and then when I work out like on the court, I, I like to repl rep 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 replicate game situations um, so that when I get out there, it's, it's as comfortable as possible, and, and I've done it before. Um, and usually like in the summertime, like when I play like one-on-one -on -one or when I'm playing with guys, I don't call fouls. So I'm used to playing through them. Throughout the last couple of seasons, you put up big numbers, and guys around you have had tough shooting nights. Tonight you had three, four guys that were – you know, over 500 shooting, you know, three-pointers. And so whenever you got guys going around you and you're going too, I mean, just can you talk about the burden, maybe being lifted and you still be able to get in your game and still trust your teammates to knock down a shot when you kick it to them? Yeah. Um, uh, I said this from, like, the first day we, we came back in the summertime. Um, guys got better individually. Um, and as a result of it, we're going to be better as a team. Um, and I think we feel that every night. Um, we have more trust in each other. Um, guys are just better at basketball and, and really put the work in over the summertime and it's showing. Anything else? Shay, um, Brad Beal didn't play the other night. Luca didn't play tonight. Is Mark talked a lot about like the mentality of like not taking games for granted, but when the opposing star isn't playing, like, do you have to do anything differently or, or kind of like keep yourself from being relaxed or anything like that? Um, I think for me, it doesn't change. Um, no matter who's playing, I, I go into the game with the same mentality, same approach, same routine, um, and just try to be as consistent as possible with that. Um, I think I, I, I'll get the best results doing so. Thank you, Shay.